intro. Welcome to another episode of Cranial Diarrhea. I am Daughter. And I'm Charmin Chippy Charlie. And I'm here to introduce my new album, Bing Bang, My Horse Kicked Me in the Ass, Now I Have a Pain. This includes songs such as Giddy Up, Little Donkey, We Got a Long Way to Go to Get Spaghetti Sauce, Horsey, Horsey, Where Did You Go, Yo, and my all-time favorite, I'm Chippy Charlie. Yes, I'm the real Charlie. All you other Chippy Chalas are just imitating. Okay, not really. You got me. I'm dad. Are you dad. But I fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> Put a hat on. There's a glare from your head. <laughs> Ooh, there's a no. bad one in there. Ooh, I got a haircut this morning. I'm just Took two minutes. <laughs> Here, I'll just do it like this. Oh my God. So obviously we're doing this a little differently today. Um, dad was exposed to the Rona Don't know uh, and I'm do not taking a hands. chance. So it's my hands, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> okay, are we, oh, we're voguing. Oh, okay. Oh. Look, I have no sling on my arm. Good for you. All right. So you were saying, well, I'm go we can lead right into the facts if you're ready. E e I got wings. Okay. All right. You want to get into the facts? Let's get this rolling. So I'm dad. And for those of you that have joined the show, you kind of know how this works. For those of you that don't, yeah, tough crap. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> You'll figure it out as we go. Um, we're gonna start off with some really good facts today. Really cool facts. Okay. Here we go. Number one, did you know? There's no vaping on Zoom. Did you? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you got smoke coming out your ears when you were doing that. I don't that know over. what you're talking about. <laughs> the brain's already turning. <laughs> That's what happens when I think too hard. Busted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you know the Nobel Nobel preview? I'm here talking, yeah. And that's a fact. I didn't you know, catch any of that. The Nobel what? You didn't catch any of that? No, no. Did you know the Nobel? And then it was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> All right. Did you know the Nobel Peace Prize was named after, 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 I can't read with these on, <laughs> after Alfred Nobel, who was the inventor of dynamite. The inventor of dynamite. Look, I False. That is 100% true. He went out with a bang, too. <laughs> That's what I get for listening to other people. Yo, oh, you had so, so you tried to have help from the peanut gallery, huh? <laughs> he was oh, like, I see how it's a cramp bell and Benny And I was yeah. like, oh, okay, false. Dumb. No, actually, Alfred Nobel created dynamite and he went out with a bang. <laughs> he went out with a bang. Do you know cats can only taste sweet stuff? That doesn't make a lot of sense because I know you would think cat, all their food. Cat food is like shrimp flavored and like. But have you tasted it? Maybe it's sweet shrimp. Um, <laughs> I'm so a sweet it. little shrimp. Um, that's one of the things in my life that I've never done. Uh, Don't eat me. I'm a sweet little shrimp. That doesn't make I'm sense. Because then all the cat food shrimp. would be sweet. I don't know. Would it? I'm saying false. I don't think that's right. That one is false. They can't taste sweet. Yeah, look at you. One and one. All right. Now, this is a good one. And, and I'm above average, as we already know. The average Above average person, in what? Everything. The average person farts 14 times a day. Oh, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> I'm like the Richard Simmons of the farts. <laughs> push it out. Push it out. Come on. You call that a fart? The average person farts 14 times a day. I wonder how many of those they try to squeeze to make silent because they're around people. You ever done that and then it squeaks out anyway like a little whistle? <laughs> it's like my butt whistle. <laughs> and if you're a guy and your butt whistles, that's kind of funny because you should just let it fly out. Like It's a always fart. in the worst like the worst situation. I know. It's like you're in the middle of church and prayer starts. It's like, 
as soon as it's never a little room with awesome acoustics it always it always happens that way and then you see always. the whole the whole pew move except for you <laughs> mass exodus <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> i parted the pew <laughs> holy ghost uh i don't know why true that's actually true you know, but think yeah. about it. Do you I'm really fart? Record. Do you really fart 14 times a day? I don't, I've never kept count. I think maybe we should start keeping count. We should keep a weekly journal and report back. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm marking my fart journal. Oh, you just marked add that to our nightly conversations. How many yeah. times did you fart today? <laughs> I only farted seven. I'm a little behind, but I still got time. <laughs> and I have a bowl of beans. So <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Speaking of farts, account. speaking of farts, this is really cool. Okay. Did you know the average fart comes out of your butt at four miles per hour? That's moving quick. Like on its own? Like you don't help yeah, it? Yeah, like no, just on its own. The average, it just says average. I don't know if that means like you're pushing. It's just average, I guess. <laughs> four miles an hour. That's pretty quick. You're talking about a breeze. If you can let a bunch of them in a row, there's a wind gust of four miles per hour in the Nashville area. Well, <laughs> <Tiffany okay. ate laughs> so <laughs> a couple of shows back, we said that there was scientific proof that farts could break the sound barrier. So if that's true. But was it true or false? It was true. Are you sure? You said it was true. Maybe. If that wasn't true, then you lied to me and I got that question right. No, it, it said they could break the sound barrier. This okay, is the so average. if they can break the sound barrier, then I would say four miles an hour seems doable. So, but I don't know if that would be an average thing, though. I don't think I've ever had a fart break the sound barrier. It said it, they can. I mean, I don't usually clock the speed in which the gas escapes my body, but <laughs> <laughs> depends on I would which, know how to go about measuring that. Depends on which Taco Bell you visit, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, true. Actually, and this really blew my mind because I knew the one thing said farts could break sound barrier, but this one said the average, you're off to the side vaping. <laughs> The average person's fart escapes their anal cavity at seven miles per hour. Seven miles per hour on average. On average. That's, That's a good breeze. That's but you know, here's the thing. If they come out that fast, why do they seem to just get in one spot and linger where you have to smell them so much? <laughs> because once they're out, there's nothing pushing them around. Yeah, I guess there's no more no more propellant. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stagnant air at that point. There we go. They get to where they're going and then they just stall out. Yeah, and why does it always seem like they come to my area? Well, because you're usually the one doing it. So. Well, okay. Do you but remember? Okay, story time. Short story time. Dad was all laid up on the couch after his surgery. And I went over there to take him some medicine that I'd picked up from Walgreens. And I'm not going to say what the medicine was because I won't embarrass you. You might want to turn the heat up because Brandon looked like he got all, all in his winter clothes. It was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> He's skinnier than me. It's not get hot. So anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting there talking to uh, my bonus mom and... <laughs> Dad, dad rips one and all three of his dogs jump up and start barking because it scared them. <laughs> they jumped up and ran to the door. I was like, what? what can I say? I'm the dog fart whisperer. <laughs> it, was so, it was so funny. I guess you had to be there. Hey, oh. Sometimes you just got to let them fly. <laughs> you got to, yeah. Everybody does it. That's the funny thing. Why are farts so funny? Because everybody does it. Oh, no, but it's hilarious. I don't, I don't care what it is. If you want to make a good movie, have a fart part, a fart scene. It. A fart, a fart scene. Like, like there was one movie. I don't remember the name, but like, I don't know, Blazing Saddles or something like that, where they're all sitting <laughs> around the campfire farting. It's like, 
I don't think every movie needs to have a fart scene. Like, could you imagine like on Titanic, right? Where they're like at the helm of the ship, like, oh, and then she just like, <laughs> you know? Now, I wonder that now we know why the Titanic scene. I don't think that would work. <laughs> I think the ship like forward in a quick burst because of the of, one of those romantic scenes. Oh, I'm so in. Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Speaking of farts, I got one more for you. Not a fart, fart a fact. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we're not in the same room, so yeah, I don't care. Zoom call, away. So you do save. what you do. <laughs> no, I'm saving them this week because I can't <laughs> dust you with I'm them. I'm like, what, 10 miles away? Do what you do. <laughs> yeah, I'll open the window and airmail. <laughs> it's seven miles an hour to be there in about an hour. <laughs> yeah. There is a pill that you can take that will actually make your poop smell like chocolate. Why would you do that? <laughs> it was a Hershey bar. <laughs> like who woke up one day and went, you know what? Like, <laughs> could you? You know what I would you? really like my poop to smell like today? You're sitting on the commode and you go, hmm, I think I want a Kit Kat for some reason. I'm really craving a Hershey's bar. Mm, maybe with peanuts. <laughs> That's gross. I mean, this, the actual smell of poop is gross, but. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't catch it, so. Well, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I try to drop and run. <laughs> if you remember correctly, that story was false. <laughs> That's true. I do remember that. Uh, there's a pill to make your poop smell like chocolate. Over the counter? It made it smell like bananas. Is it over the counter? I have no idea. Because <laughs> I, I feel like that's not something you would go to the doctor and be like, I need a prescription doctor, for... A prescription to make my poop smell like a Hershey. Yeah, like that's not something you would... Hmm. That chocolate cake smells eerily familiar. <laughs> But then if it's over the counter, like you have to go to the checkout line and, ch and buy this pill to make your I poop smell like chocolate. Check on chocolate smell and poop pill. <laughs> I don't know about that's, that like, that's like any time I would go in to buy the, the female products for Teresa. It's always, I need a price check on tampon. I'm like, hey, what can I say? You know? Go ahead and check the douche while you're at it too. I don't if you know. get one that, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Like, first of all, pick products that have price tags on them, and then that won't be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Brandon really looks cold walking through there. Bless his heart. Okay, you're not supposed to be focusing on that. <laughs> you're breaking the fourth wall. Um, <laughs> my hands again. I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, I'm poop, fixing chocolate, my chocolate poop. False. That is true. <gasps> what? It is true. Are you like going to test that, that out? It is true. Are you going to get some and test that out? I really want to try some. <laughs> I got to figure out where you get them from. I read that and I'm like, that's really cool. I mean, because it wouldn't work for like, because my sense of smell is way off anyway. After well, all you smell is toilet water. <laughs> oh, toilet water. You're eating a bowl of Fruit Loops. I'm like, when like I'm, sometimes when I'm cooking food, it smells like rotten. Like it's, Ooh. yeah. See, I want I'm one almost like, it. can I get COVID again? So it'll like. Just change, <laughs> change flavors. <laughs> get rid of the smell completely. And then we can just start over and see what happens, right? I want a pill that makes my smell like roses. That way I can say, my poop does smell like roses. Mm. Okay. Anyway, do you have another fact for me? Look. It's story time. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time where daughter tries to tell a story now to fool me. She hasn't done very good in the past. I think I'm like, what, 20 and one or something? I don't know. I'm Unlike Vanderbilt's record this year. So, I'm ready. Are you ready? You cannot. Okay, so here's the thing. So I do this every week or yeah, yes. every week. And, um, the funny part is this app. time, 
you're going to get to see what I actually see, which <laughs> is the chin. Yeah. So, so here we go. This is my story time hat. Go, Pat, go. Yeah, they went home just like the Steelers. Oh, my God. Okay. You see anything? Now, folks, this is what she does. <laughs> Make sure I can't see anything. <laughs> so the funny <laughs> thing is... And you can't see my hands. No, I can't see anything. I can't see your hands or anything. There are no tells today. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So when I was about 15, um, I've mentioned this before, I would spend all the breaks from school watching my sisters while my parents worked, you know. Um, we had an old Chevy Corsica. <laughs> it, this thing was like rusted out like it, it seemed some some rough times um but that stayed parked in front of our apartment at the time um my mom was driving another car and that was just a you know back up um every now and then mom would let me haul the trash to the dumpster the dumpster in the complex um <laughs> in this car so we would load up the trash and then I would get to drive to the dumpster and I thought this was like the most amazing thing ever um because I was getting to drive without a license <laughs> so one day I was cleaning up around the apartment while uh, mom was at work and I noticed that there was some trash bags that needed to go to the dumpster and uh so my friend who by the way, was not supposed to be at my apartment while no one else, like no adults were there. I wasn't supposed to have anybody over, but she was there. Anyway, um, so my friend and I loaded the trash up and drove it to the dumpster. And um, where this dumpster was located in the apartment complex, it was close to two of their um, I guess playgrounds we called them parks but they were like little tiny playgrounds for the kids you know there was one like down the hill that was a, li a little bit bigger it was like kind of down the hill from the dumpster and then the other one was right across from the dumpster it was right next to the entrance um so anyway my so we drove the trash down and my sisters were at one of the parks and saw us uh unloading the trash and um <laughs> when we loaded the trash up and I was getting in the car to come home, they were like, Hey, give me a ride. And I was like, okay, whatever. So <laughs> everyone fit in the car, except for sister for number two. Um, I made number two climb up on the trunk and hang on. And I drove home. <laughs> With her hanging on by her fingers, laying stomach down on the trunk. Um, I wasn't going, you know, I was going like five miles an hour or whatever, but there were like speed bumps and everything else. And she's hanging on the end of the trunk. So the manager of the apartments happened to see this and uh, had my mom's number on speed dial. And I'm not going to explain why that was. Um, had my mom's number on speed dial, called my mom, who then came home and like grounded me for life for endangering number two. Hmm. So let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you took the car, so you stole it. You kidnapped your friend to go to the dump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you had number three in the car with you you made number two right on the back holding on with her fingers <clears throat> what kind of car was it again chevy corsica a chevy corsica right that was chevy the corsica was yeah okay. so what year was the car uh i want to say it was like an 80 later 80s model maybe early 90s um and I, I don't remember hmm. 
Hmm. Well, was it two door or four door? This was a four door. And four people couldn't fit in it? Well, apparently not if I made number two right on the trunk. But there's four doors. I know. Which means there's seats for four. Mm -hmm. Which means four people would have fit in it. Okay, maybe I was just being mean. Hmm, yeah, that's a possibility. What color was the car? Rust. <laughs> Rust. It was black. What kind of shoes did number two have on? Uh, probably Velcro. I don't know. <laughs> All you can see is the bill of your hat and the bottom of your chin. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, I'm going to say, let me think here. Number two on the back of a car, trying to hold on with their fingers through a parking lot where there's speed bumps? Multiple. Multiple speed bumps. Did she fall off? No. Then it's false. Final answer. Let me think. Yeah, I'm going false. That's true. See, I could, I have no tails. <laughs> no! One here, nothing. So look at that. That is absolutely true. I endangered her life. <laughs> now, I have to say, though, you have a four door car. Why didn't you just let her get in? Um, so I think uh, number one had some friends with her, but I don't remember. I don't really remember why. I, I don't know if it was maybe she didn't want to get in the car. She wanted to you ride know, on the trunk. The thing I'm getting from this story is you were kind of mean to number two. When, yeah. <laughs> I was mean to both of them. <laughs> um 100 i was awful wow. to both of them yeah. yeah it's it's really hard because i can't even see your hands because you have a tail with your <laughs> hands too i don't like this zoom stuff <laughs> you know listen i think we do the zoom like once a month i kind of like i don't know i kind of like it because it's a it's an easy win for me that i mean because you have no tails and that because i can't no. see anything but the bottom of your chin <laughs> Yeah, no. And that's every week, guys, but he can see my hands. And it's so I when I talk, I'm very, you know, with my yep. hands and well, I, it's a tell. Yep. I'm it working is a tell. on because sometimes I'll like sit cross, you know, my arms cross. But you still have I'm, tails. Like, I'm looking down the whole time and I'm not I'm super <laughs> dead. <man. laughs> All right. So I guess with that being said, I've been defeated today. I'm kind of like the Vanderbilt Commodores and the Green Bay Packers defeated and going on. <laughs> you were all dancing and then you just stopped. <laughs> Was it too soon? <laughs> <laughs> my, I'm still healing emotionally still, <laughs> from football season. <laughs> I would say I was from the Steelers, but I was not surprised. <laughs> I, I, you know, there's hope for Vanderbilt. I don't know what the future is going to look like for the Packers, but <clears throat> we're going to stay optimistic. I'm interested to see if Aaron Rodgers stays. <clears throat> yeah, I, you know, I'm not going to speculate. It is what it is, but. <laughs> You were all like, <laughs> you're so mean to me all the time. <laughs> it's just because I love you. <laughs> hey, there's no vaping on, on Zoom. <laughs> Doubles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I think it's that time. We've went silly now. I think it's uh, time to wipe. <laughs> time to flush. Yes, I think it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's going to do it for another episode of Cranial Diarrhea. I'm Dad. I'm Daughter. And you can find us on... Oh, uh, Sp <laughs> Spotify, Anchor, and Google Podcasts. And, uh, oh, if you listen to us on Spotify, you can 100% rate us. You don't have to. Um, but I did because I think we're amazing. I think um, we are too. <laughs> and then we have a Twitter 
and that's at craneria underscore pod oh and big news uh youtube is live awesome uh, and it's it's cranial diarrhea um, so this one will get to be posted to youtube on the youtube on the youtube on the youtube on the youtube um, so that's exciting we're making we're making some progress we are making um, progress. yeah so that's where we're oh and you can email us at cranial diarrhea at gmail.com all right folks until <laughs> next time keep wiping don't endanger your sisters. Ha <laughs> ha